Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, welcome to this week's reading. So for this week I am divining through these beautiful rose petals and leaves. Um, these are roses that I had that I kept so I can do this for you. And then I'll be drawing cards from the Knight of the Guardian tarot deck here. Okay, Taurus, 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 let's see what we have for you. Okay, Taurus. Okay. Hmm. Something here where I see you and always thinking about whether you've done enough, whether you've put in enough effort. It's like there's something that you're wanting to save. You're you're like bouncing from one place to to the next, trying to get a lot done here but there is some kind of uneasiness that I see it's like you're trying out different ways different paths to get to a good solution that works out for everybody but in this situation it does feel like you are stuck between a rock and a hard place it's like there's something here where it feels like you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't um and you know, it's 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 kind of like a case where you may just have to do what you need to do, even if it may disappoint somebody close to you. It's like you're worried that it may affect your relationship, your friendship, this connection that that's around, or what they may think of you. And and what I see here is that they do see you're trying to, they do see you are making the effort. They do see. You know, um, this this could pertain to possibly somebody at work that you know, uh, you know, um, they may be losing their job and you're trying everything uh, you can to um, save their job for, for them, you know. Um, that's just one example. Um, there's something like that happening. So you're being very, very caring, in some ways kind of stretching yourself too thin. That's, that's you know, that work thing is one example because there, it could be something personal where it feels like, like um, you have tried your best. You tried all you can to make something work, to make something happen. Uh, it is not your fault if it doesn't. It's okay. And I do see that in many ways it will work out for the better. You could be doing someone a favor by letting them down, by by um, this so-called disappointing them, even though you're not actually disappointing them, you know? Um, there's something here about thinking about what you are... Um, the, what you are feeding your mind, what you are feeding yourself, your body, you're paying more attention to that, closer attention. It's like there is something before where you were, you were without knowing, kind of feeding off a lot of negativity. There was some kind of um, negative energy field around you that you had some kind of awakening. You could be going through this right now and, and somebody could be reminding you also that th this is not the right place for you or the right connection for you. And I do see like this big awakening where you're like, oh, hold on, let me take a step back. No, this is right. I don't want to spiral out of control. So you do see yourself looking after yourself a lot better here as well. There's something specific about changing your hairstyle, hair color, or something like that. Could be for some of you out there. Um, there is there is a transition that you're going through and you're going to ease into it. If there's a, a, a different um, role that you are going into, um, also relationship-wise, there's, there's, there's lots of things here um, in terms of connecting to other people, relationships, establishing something new. Um, worried you know kind of like a, a little bit fearful with, with whether you should open your heart so much or how much you should there is something here that feels like it's you're going to ease into this 
a lot better than you thought you would. Um, there's, you know, kind of this mutual respect happening as well. And there's a good sense of humor is what I see as well. Your sense of humor really pays off in many um, awkward situations, but you also really value other sense of humor as well. There's just a lot of that. Um, and kind of like an understanding, mutual respect, mutual understanding. So something is definitely kind of, you know, swinging in the right direction for you. You don't have uh, this anxiety that I see. Don't worry about it. No need to be so anxious. Something is falling into place in an order that you may not expect, but you adjust quite well into it. There are some forms and whatnot that I see you having to fill out, something to to finish writing up um, something about getting references. Um, you will be hearing back, uh, it, it could be something legal, some legal advice or something where um, you'll be glad the way it goes. Something about an outcome, you'll be glad, um, you'll be glad of this outcome. So again, it's like a, you're, re, you, you're gonna really look forward to this you know, easiness here that you you really do deserve. I see like um, something to do with um, you're, you're getting in touch with the inner child. I see like these big eyes, like you're seeing everything as if it were completely new, you know, with these big, big eyes looking at the world and just kind of that this there's going to be uh, a new environment that you're going to be in, you know, um, it, and it's like you are remembering your visions from before or from possibly from when you were younger oops i have this upside down um and and realizing oh certain manifestations of yours that you were working on or, the, or unknowingly when you were like way before you're starting to see it now it's like you're remembering oh yeah this is what i used to think about all the time and a lot of that is coming through it could be from the simplest things in terms of Oh, the kind of street you live on, the kind of people that are around you, whatever it, it is. Um, but three of swords, there we go. But it is um, very peculiar and particular to you. Okay, look at this. King of Wands, three of swords and the chariot. You see, what I was seeing in terms of this, you, you are like... Um, going the distance with something but ultimately you realize that like all roads lead to rome basically whatever path you take it's going to have the same result when it comes to this three of swords but that's a good thing because you are let free um and i do see you doing this other person a favor this is what i see the feelings emotions this is normal to go through but I don't see that it's long lasting in terms of this pain. And when the King of Wands, it's like, yeah, you know, you're, you're, you've been ready to take a stand. You're not, you're unafraid. You're going to try all these different things and you speak up and you're hearing, you know, others, and you're trying to find a balance. But this is in fact the right path, you know, I'll beat it, it, uh, for you may feel like it's a dissatisfaction, disappointment, you know, it, it, it's, it, cause, it does cause pain here and there. Um, but ultimately with the chariot, it allows you to, it sets you free here with the chariot. It sets you free. It sets you on the path where you've been wanting to be, not being restrained or held back in any way. There is like uh, lots of, you know, entanglements that's being detangled. So this is good. Okay, we have the five of ones, five of ones, five of ones. So Taurus, please, Taurus. I do get something about listen to your heart deep down rather more. Sometimes you listen more to your mind, you know, um, thinking what it's right, but your heart is trying to also say something else, like in terms of the reality of things. Oh, five of ones and the six of ones. Well, look what we have here. Mm. And, uh, you know, this rushing about doing everything and whatnot. There is something here that I, I feel like a lot of attention is... is being drummed up for this something here that you are doing that you've really kind of been digging your hands in 
um, you, you're like not giving up, which I love to see. You're not giving up. You know this can be a success and boom, here we have the six of wands. You know, with the five of wands, it's like dealing, having to deal with different energies, with people, you know, a little bit up and down and whatnot, a little bit of a competitive edge, but your head and whatever it is, you come out on top here with the six of wands. You get seen, there's a recognition, there's like this... It's like, yes, Taurus, okay, <laughs> you win. Uh, congratulations. There's something here that you come out quite victorious, very successful. You know, um, good fortune for you as well. I'm, I, I really, really like how this is unfolding for you. And there's something about patience also. There ha there's been a lot of impatience uh, times, but um, something about you having to be patient during the five of ones time where you know um you're having to kind of deal with many different people and and getting yourself out there and whatnot it works out don't worry temperance like patience and we have here the temperance taurus there you go there you go this is, what a beautiful confirmation for this. It all works out, Taurus. And the thing is, you know it deep down. And sometimes, you know, the, the, uh, what I get here in terms of your heart, your heart is, in fact, trying to tell you something about the reality of a situation. And then when you take a step back and you realize, huh, okay, you know what? It's actually not as bad. I'm good. And look, there's a heart here in the temperance as well. I don't know if you can see that. You see that straight after the three of swords. So this is, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it's the right way, it definitely sets you free for a reason, for a purpose. And with the tempons, oh, you know, everything, I said, you're going to see how everything unfolds for you, how everything turns, you know, the way it should be. The tempons shows that things will start to align. There's a good balance. That's what you want, a steadiness. You're kind of really looking after yourself as well, finding that tranquility, the easiness that you are going into. Another great confirmation with the lovely temperance here. You get to enjoy this success of yours, whatever outcome that there is that I was saying you're going to be very happy about. Here we are. And you're going to enjoy it. You know, which you absolutely deserve. I love this. Thank you so much, Taurus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I truly do appreciate it. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Do take care. I really hope that this was helpful. I'll see you next time.